Right now, fighting furloughs for air traffic controllers, Florida Governor Rick Scott is now taking a stand against the sequestration cuts that are already causing flight delays around the country. In the next hour, the governor will talk about those cuts at Tampa International Airport. Our John Thomas is live there with what the furloughs could mean for Florida. Good afternoon, John. Good afternoon. You know, Governor Scott is going to be here at about 1 o'clock. That's uh, in about an hour. He sent this letter to the president asking him to stop the furloughs because he says it's going to cost Florida about $19 million annually, 1.6 every month. As for travelers showing up here at TIA, you know, all you want to do is you want to show up at the airport, get on your plane, and get to where you want to go. Well, when you get inside here, the thing you're going to notice, you're probably going to have to wait. Let's take a look at some video here. We shot not even an hour ago. The video shows the departures and the arrivals. On the departure side, I counted 22 flight delays. On the arrival side, I counted 27 flight delays from New York to Boston, Chicago to Houston, all points in between and even further west. Talk to airport officials. Right now, they say they can't say for sure that the air traffic controllers' furlough days are causing the problems. They say some could be weather-related. And right now, only Newark is reporting delays because of furlough issues. And right now, those traveling, those delayed that we talked to, they're taking it in stride. Hopefully we have enough juice in our iPads and iPhones to keep them busy. Um, feeding some food and hopefully just get through it. The governor, is, the governor is scheduled to be here at 1 o'clock. Like I said, he's going to hold a press conference. If you want to watch that, we're going to stream that live on our website. Just go to abcactionnews.com. Another thing, if you're coming to the airport and you want to find out, hey, am I delayed, am I canceled, what's going on, go to our website as well, abcactionnews.com. We have flight tracker there for you. In Tampa, John Thomas, ABC Action News, back to you.